Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. Today we'll be taking an in-depth look at how to use the radar effectively in PvP. We get a lot of questions on how to improve your gameplay in PvP and this one topic really is big enough to devote an entire video to. So let's get started. First off, let's just have an overview of the radar. Now in Destiny, the radar is not like other games. It only gives you the proximity of enemies' locations instead of exact positions like Planet Side or Call of Duty. There are three distances that it shows. The outer ring is devoted to things that are very far away, but just close enough that you can really hit them with a mid-range weapon. The middle ring is for enemies located closer to you, and the final middle dot is for enemies that are pretty much within arm's reach of you. The position indicators will also glow red based on if the enemy is on your same level or will be dimmer if they're below or above you. Also, the radar can be fooled. There are two ways to not show up on the radar. The first is to be a hunter with one of the numerous invisibility talents. As long as you are invisible and not sprinting, you won't show up on the radar. The other way is to crouch and be still at the same time. I see a lot of players walking while crouching, and while that does somewhat limit your presence on the radar, you still do show up on it if you're moving around. So sacrificing the hefty movement penalty with a slight reduction in enemy knowledge of your position is honestly not worth it. Now, before we really get into applying this knowledge, it should be known that to make the best of the radar, you will have to have good map knowledge. Knowing how to use the radar will only get you so far if you don't know the map well enough to accurately predict where an enemy is based off the radar's information. So in these example clips, I will try to explain how I know where the enemy is based off both map knowledge and radar. This first clip here is going to be mainly me using my rocket launcher. I start off and I pick up some heavy ammo. At the top left portion, I saw that there was a small blip there and I knew that someone was most likely coming to C point, so I fired a rocket, and sure enough, he was. Now, when I'm standing on C point, I'm looking up at the stairway. I'm seeing some indication that there's enemies in that general area. Now, more than likely, there's going to be enemies on the top level, since the heavy ammo just spawned, and they won't be on the bottom level. So using that information, I just fire a rocket at the top level, and sure enough, there's one there. Now, I'm still seeing that there's some red up there, so I'll fire another rocket up there, and there's another enemy. Now I finally want to go up there and see what happened. There was some heavy ammo, and I still see a little bit blip on the radar. Most likely he's on B point. I go out, and sure enough he was. I'm still seeing some more over by the doorways, and I'm just gonna fire a rocket over there. It's, it's pretty much guaranteed that there's an enemy there. Now this next match here, I'm using Thorn, and it's in a skirmish, so there's less enemies to worry about. I'm already being pursued, so we're not really gonna cover how I knew that there was an enemy right behind me. What we will be covering is the enemy that's on the top right hand portion of my radar. Now there's two places that he could be, either above or below, but because the indicator is ever so slightly brighter, I know he's going to be on my level. And due to where the radar says that he is, then I know he's going to be on the top level, most likely in that back corner. Due to this information, I can immediately come out and fire one, two headshots and take him out before he's really even aware of me or can see me through the grass. Now this next clip is a little bit dirty. I really like to use predictive grenade throws in this game, and the radar allows me to do that. So right here, I kind of run up, and I notice that there's a small blip on my radar. It keeps flashing that it's very strong red, so more than likely, he's going to already be on my level. I know he's going to be at the top of the stairs. The reason it keeps going in and out is because he's crouching down and moving at the same time. Now he most likely sees me running up as well. So when I see that radar flash for the second time, I predictively throw the grenade out, not really thinking that he's actually going to be there, and it sticks to him, and I get a sticky grenade kill. I like to use this method on a lot of maps. Next here on Blind Watch, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm controlling B point, and I notice that there's a blip coming in through the doorway that opens up. So what I like to do is using the radar, plus my map knowledge of when the door opens up, I'll predictively just throw a grenade through, anticipating that it will stick to someone. Now this can also work from multiple levels. Notice here how the radar says that there's an enemy that's very close by, but it's not on my level due to it being slightly dimmer. I know that the enemy is currently above me, and using this information, I kind of want to land it on the water tower that's behind him, but I get lucky and stick it to him again. Now this next clip is going to be on Shores of Time. This little area that we're in is what I like to call the caves. This is very difficult to actually use the radar here because enemies can come in from one of two locations and it shows up as the same area on your radar. 
Now due to map knowledge and the radar right here, I know that the enemy is going to be on the right hand side, instead of the very far left hand side. Where I'm currently at, the radar cannot read them if they were all the way over on the very far left hand side. There's an enemy on the right hand side and we can take him out. And then after I killed him, I noticed there's still another blip on the radar. And I know this time it's on the left hand side towards the longer end of the cavern and we can take him out. Now on this map, we're going to be using a different type of map knowledge. We're going to be using the fact that there is a capture point that is currently being captured in conjunction with the radar. Now since we know that the point is being captured, we know that there's at least one enemy there. But due to how quickly it's being captured, we know that there's at least two or three enemies there. So we know that a grenade is going to be the best course of action going in instead of immediately firing your weapon, where they can take you out quicker. I've noticed that there's a very large presence on my radar and A point is still very quickly being capped. I immediately throw a grenade and then fire my shot to take out the two people. Once I move away from there, I still notice there's something on my radar. As I move out this door, I see someone off in the distance, but more importantly, I see that there is no one directly above me on top of the crate. My radar indicates that there is someone currently pretty much right on top of me. I know that there's only two places that they could be. One, they could be on top of this crate to my left, or they could be directly below me in the tunnels. And I immediately look down, and sure enough, someone comes out, and I can immediately dispatch them before they can take out my teammates. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I am interested in doing more stuff like this in the future, so if you guys have any ideas or just criticisms on how I did in the video, please leave them below. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.